Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft server Let's Play series. In today's episode, we are back on Mineplex and we are going to be playing the game Mindstrike. Now, if you don't know what Mindstrike is, basically Mineplex has recreated the game Counter-Strike in Minecraft without using mods. And if you don't know what Counter-Strike is, it's basically a multiplayer game where there are two teams with two different roles on a map. The two teams are the SWAT team and the bomb team. The bomb team's objective is to plant a bomb at one out of two places on the map and protect it until it explodes. If the bomb explodes, the bomb team wins. They can also win by eliminating the SWAT team, both before the bomb is placed and after the bomb is placed. Though the bomb team has to plant the bomb before timer runs out. If the timer runs out, the SWAT team wins. The SWAT team's objective is to protect the two bomb sites and prevent the bomb team from placing the bomb. If the bomb gets placed, the SWAT team has to defuse it. After the bomb is active though, there's little time to defuse it, so you have to be quick. If the bomb gets defused, the SWAT team wins. The SWAT team can also win by eliminating the bomb team before the bomb is placed. If the bomb is placed, the SWAT team has to defuse the bomb to win. In Mindstrike you play till one team has 8 wins. In real Counter-Strike I can't remember how many wins a team needs before the game ends. It should also be said that when you get kills, you get money and with that money you can buy yourself guns at the start of every round. You cannot buy weapons in the middle of the match. Also some weapons are different depending on what team you are on. It should also be said that Mindstrike doesn't have as many types of weapons as Counter-Strike Global Offensive has, but maybe they based Mindstrike after an older Counter-Strike that maybe didn't have that many weapons. Okay, I think that basically wraps up Counter-Strike and Mindstrike at the same time. If you have questions, feel free to ask me. But with all that said, let's now play some Mindstrike. Alright, so to find Mindstrike, you basically go over to the right here in the red section of the lobby and click on Mindstrike and Mindstrike, click here. And here you can see the map. We can also see four games in progress here. You can see that the map um, is different on these. That's because they have more than one map. Yay! Um, I think they do a pretty good job of the designs. By the way, make sure you accept the resource pack that changes the textures and sounds and stuff like that to that. Um, I joined SWAT team, that's good. Now what I actually meant by the, the different teams have different um, weapons, that's what I actually should have said. Um, because SWAT for example has the M4A4 and the bomb team has the AK-47. Now um, when you start, you start with a not much money, so basically the first round is with pistols. Um, and knives and then from that you try to get as much money as possible to get the higher weapons once you're in the shop you can see um, stuff like damage and stuff and stuff like that um, the snipers you can use scope by holding down shift then a scope will appear on your screen and i'll try to show it if i can but let's see if i can concentrate um, on the game here and actually get some kills and hopefully our team will win but anyways, um, as you can hear the, and see, the textures are completely changed and the sounds. These sounds aren't really in the normal um, Minecraft vanilla game, right? Also these textures and armor and stuff like that. Bomb team has red, SWAT team has, um, has blue. Oh, there's a guy right there. I got him. Yes. With the P2000. Good. So here you can see we have 4,000, so I do that, that I buy armor, I buy the equipment diffusal kit, which makes it faster to defuse the bomb, and here you can see all the weapons. If I hold my hand over the Desert Eagle, for example, you can see the price, and you can see the clip spare ammo, the amount of ammo that you have, damage per bullet, armor penetration, damage drop-off, etc. I'm going to buy this gun because I like it, and um, yeah. So let's get over here. So. If we take a look, well, we don't have a minimap really, um, but here's one of the bomb sites, which is B, and over there I think is the bomb site A. And people are really good with the sniper rifles, so we have to be really careful. Uh, can I get two kills here? Maybe. Let's go around. Let's go around and try and flank them. Um, Let's see, maybe they are going around, I don't think so. Let's see if we can get him in the back. If my teammate didn't get him, they didn't. I got them. 
Okay, good. And they actually had a Desert Eagle, which I'm going to take because it's more powerful than this one. And let's see. Um, wait, I'm the only one alive. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. Okay. Um, you are not allowed as a spectator to ghost, which is basically telling your teammates um, where the bomb is. But I can hear it. It's beeping. And there's most likely a sniper or something. I should have waited. Yep, I got him. I got him. Whoa. Okay, I did not see him behind that. <laughs> but they got me and I lost all my weapons. If you um, if you don't die, you actually get to keep your weapons um, till the next match. Now, I have no money on me after buying all this stuff. So I'm just going to stay with the pistol. Huh. Let's go to B. Let's see if we can do some damage there. Flashbang. If you look at it, you get that, and you cannot see anything. And apparently, I didn't look away enough. Uh, whoa. They have an op. Pretty cool sniper, actually. I want to get up there and knife him. If I can. Uh, Hello? Is anybody home? Hello? Okay, they are all the way over there. I can message my team now. Let's see, I think they at A. Whoa. Ah. Oh, a sniper. Uh, it's an SSG, not as powerful as the R, but I can use it. And I need to get away because I have only one heart remaining. I need to get to some cover here. I got them. I got them. Okay. I'm a I'm the last one alive again. Whoa. Yeah. I thought that was gonna happen. <laughs> um yeah. So now we have three hundred and three thousand one hundred and fifty. Um just enough to buy an SMHPP bison. Bison? Bison? Is that how you say it? Uh I'm actually not that, that sure. But anyways, um yeah, let's get over here and see here. They are most likely going to come from this way. Yep. Whoa. Uh, get that. That's an SNG. Not as good as an op, but um, useful. Usable, I should say. And I need to lower my volume because... <laughs> uh, whoa. Not hear myself thinking. Okay, he went away. Please tell me. Nope, it's an op. What weapon did you drop? Ah, the AK. So this is a weapon that you cannot normally get um, if you're on sweat, but you can pick other people's weapons up, as you just saw me do. Um. Okay, two alive. Whoa, they're here. Eek. Got one. That's the op. I think the guy is over here. And he's going to swing around here. Oh no, I reloaded. That's the wrong time. I could have gotten him there. Oh, I missed. I missed. Yes. GG, nice work buddy. And you can see the gun is right there and there you saw the scope that it zooms a little bit in and it makes it easier for you to um to zoom. So I have um I have this up here which is pretty cool. I like the up. I'm trying to become better at it. I'm not good at it. I wouldn't say I'm good at it compared to the really really um professionals using this. <laughs> um so there's that. Whoa. I missed. By the way, it's only accurate if you zoom in like this. It's not accurate if it's just like not zoomed in. I got one. Okay, he got me. <laughs> he got me. So now we can spectate. We can um, fly around and look at specific people. But now is a pretty good time for me to lower my volume, I think. So um, be right back. Okay, the bomber team uh, won this round, so let's see, we now have six, 
six thousand dollars i'm not going to buy the op because i apparently used all my money already um i'm going to use the famas and let's see if we can do some let's go to b this time let's try and defend b um i'm trying to get used to using a well using f5 to look around corners and stuff like that oh okay he had a shotgun he had a shotgun i don't really like the shotguns i don't find them that powerful unless you're okay hello unless you are um very close like he's here and i'm here or you know close except for one shotgun which is rapid fire um i don't remember what it's called it's something with an x but other than that, I don't like them that much. And I don't know, I'm playing on 1.8.9. I don't have any texture packs loaded or anything. And I don't know why it's showing this. I guess it might just be an, an error in their resource pack or something. So let's teleport to this to this guy here. And um, let's see how long he can survive. That long, apparently. <laughs> well done, though. Well done. Um, so... I could buy an op, but not get any armor, but I will not do that. I will get a P90. It fires a lot of bullets per um, per second, I'd say. Which makes it very good at close combat. Um, so here, for example, I would use F5 to look around corners. Like this. I saw a guy over there. A grenade. Whoa. Okay. I think... Yeah, I don't know how, how much health he had there, but I think that was actually a pretty close one. So now they're planting the bomb at B. I cannot see it because it's ghosting, and ghosting is bannable, if I remember the rules correctly. Um, we're not doing, doing so well on this round, sadly. Um... But it's very funny, is this one. This is a short gun I was talking about. Um, you can also, by the way, get skins for your guns and stuff like that. But um, what I was going to say is that the tide of the game can really change rapidly. So you can go from being almost dead and lose till, uh, to, um, to actually winning. So that's actually something that's pretty cool. And he's trying to snipe me. I'm pinned down. This is the usefulness of F F5. I have uh, the key set to F so I can quickly like tap it while in game. There's another guy that just ran by me. Oh, uh, whoa. That was just above uh, above my head. <laughs> um I think he's coming. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Oh, he's up there. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. Did I get him? No, I didn't. <laughs> that was a close one, though. Um, I always buy armor because that means you can take more damage. Um, man, what gun should I go for? I think I'm not going to go for any, any gun because then I can get it up in the next round. So I don't use all my money now. Um, I could have, of course, just bought the cheaper um, SSG sniper rifle, but I don't think I'm going to. Well, now I can't. You can cannot purchase gear. Okay, it's right there. So... Okay, who got me? Oh, that guy. <laughs> he got me. Okay. Get him. Get him, guys. Um, I think it's time to change strategy, but I'm not sure how, since, um, yeah. Also, this is something that I really don't like on Mindstrike. It should auto-balance the teams. For example, there are seven on the bomb team, only four on SWAT, which is really unfair. It should automatically move people around, um, depending on what... now. Uh, for what, how many people are on the different teams? Um, well, yeah, he's good. He's one of the good ones that can snipe just by looking. <laughs> um, yeah, 
I think we've planted at B. Yeah, it started A, it's at B. We have two um two SWAT guys remaining. We can actually I don't think we're gonna win this. The bomb team are gonna win, I think, because now the other ones are coming behind him, I think, maybe. Yeah. GG, well played anyway. And um yeah, I think we are gonna go and play a second round. So stay tuned, I will be right back. Um let's just see a John SWAT team again. Let's try to be um Let's try to go to bomb team this time, just to get a variation. Um, also, so you can see the weapons and stuff on bomb team. Now, I didn't buy any of it, but there are grenades and flashbangs and stuff like that that you can buy. But other than that, yeah, I'll be back in about 30 seconds. Stay tuned. Okay, we are starting in five seconds. So, I don't know. Yes, we are on bomb team. That's good what I wanted. So here's here's something that you can't really do anything about. They are missing one player on um, on SWAT team, but Mind Strike wouldn't be able to do much about that unless they like directly kicked a player off of bomb team with that and that would just make it annoying to play. So whoa They have a Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle Retreat a bit. Tactical retreat required. Um, so as you can see, this is another map. Um, I didn't see, notice what it what it was called. Um, wow, he moved. <laughs> F5 to the rescue. Not much because I cannot aim in F5 mode. Um, I see he's most likely hiding behind a corner here. No. Whoa! What just happened? <laughs> okay, I got him though. I got him. Okay, we won the first round. That's good. As you can see, the bomb is active and we eliminated the entire SWAT team so the bomb didn't even get to blow up. Um, I'll buy this and as you can see here, we have the... I won't say that because I don't know how it's pronounced, <laughs> um, but I'm going to buy the AK-47. Um, it's a, I think it's a powerful gun anyway. In real CSGO, it's a real powerful gun if you can get headshots in. Um, and in that CSGO, I really... It's called... You can call it CSGO. Or come strike Global Offensive or whatever. Um, short name, CSGO. Reload. By the way, maybe I should even say the stuff that's... Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. No. Whoa, I got him with a knife. <laughs> I actually liked the knife him. I got $1,500 for that. <laughs> so as you can see here, we received 3250 for winning the round. Um, I'm going to buy the up just because I want it badly. And we are going to go this way again. Um, so I think this game is really fun if you get on like a a voice chat program and then like make a party or something with like 12 or 16 people and then play this i think it could be really really fun um i think someone is hiding here um or you can just play it like this of course whoa that was a good one that was a good one he <laughs> he jumped right in front of me that was perfect Let's go here. I don't know if you see if he's actually still here. He might be in a five mode or something. Let's just double check. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Almost got him. Oh, someone else got him. Good. Phew. That was actually a close one. I don't even think the bomb was active. So here you can see I have my guns from last. And um, you can just keep storing money if you don't die. And, okay, I cannot buy anything. I was going to buy a flashbang or a grenade or something like that. Um, anyways, also you can type in team chat by doing that and then type. Only your team will be able to see it. Whoa, that was just horrible. Uh, I didn't get that kill. Someone else got it. 
This person most likely. Let them peek out. Or not. Um don't think anyone's back here. Oh. I got them. I got them. And got them too. <laughs> I got a hundred dollars for each kit. Um so now as, as you can see I have seven thousand four hundred and fifty. And here I'm going to buy one of each. Um Molotov, smoke, high explosives, high explosive and flashbang. Oh, I got it. I got it. Let's go B. Let's go B for a variation. Um, I picked up the bomb. So now I have to go to the bomb site and place it. Whoa. Okay, nice job. If you're with a, with really good teammates, um, where you can coordinate your attack, just, by the way, hold down, right click, and to defuse it, keep looking at it. <laughs> I'm staring at the bomb. Diffuse. Um, uh, I was going to say that if you have a really good team that you can coordinate your attacks with, you can really get some good battles with it because you can uh, like coordinate um, strategies and stuff. Other than this, where you just kind of oh, I have to bomb again. Um, go wherever you want to, and the team gets split up and stuff like that. Um, sometimes it goes okay. Sometimes it's just horrible, and coordination is required. I think you get the idea. Okay, I didn't get a clue there. Just standing on these boxes here. Oh no. Tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. Yeah, most likely going to go around. I'm going to go around anyway. Oh, my team's here. I just had to check if I was actually on red team because I was I was on blue team before. Okay, I got a kill. Oh, whoa. That was a misfire. So just right click and it threw the Molotov. Bad idea because now I can't get there. Um, something happened bad back there, but that's okay. So here we have 13,000, which isn't that bad. I really like the AWP when I'm in. I need to be like good with it. it varies from day to day <laughs> actually sometimes I'm good sometimes I just keep getting kills and scopes and stuff like that or scoop like get quick kills and stuff like that um, and other days it's like horrible can't even aim okay so no one's at here apparently everyone is at the other place most likely oh as you probably planned since it's the objective of the bomber team so I should probably do that. And now we have to protect this place. Oh man. Goodbye. Just make sure no one comes in from behind. Got some teammates covering that place. And we win even before the bomb explodes. <laughs> That's cool. Um, 16,000. Sadly, you cannot give other players some... Um, money but you can like drop them stuff also this is a skin for the op I have um, I like it let's go B okay so here is a moment where mind strike should automatically take one from bomb team and move them over to sweat if that is even possible doing with like plugins and stuff like that uh, I don't think I can get shot on them I need to go around for the other opening um, I think the area is clear yeah the area is clear I think <laughs> okay we won the game again GG well played all so oh too similar to your previous message fine just a GG good game <laughs> anyways we got a game in with um where we were sweat and one where we were on the bomb team i'm actually going to call it an episode here i am definitely going to make more episodes of this so yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did remember to leave a like comment and share it with your friends and if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe in which i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you next time have a nice day and bye bye